Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial in which we're going to carry on looking at exporting. Now we've set up our composition, we decided that we were going to export 5 seconds of this Zaxworks 3D flag test that I made with the new Zaxworks 3D flag version 3. And we went to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, or all the alternative was Composition Add to Render Queue. And we also noticed that his Control or Command M was the keyboard shortcut which was to do with the old legacy export version which was make movie okay and that added it to our render queue and we've given it a name and we've decided where it's going to go now we need to look at the render settings now when you drop the twirly down next to the word render settings you get the settings that are already in place you can't modify anything with these they're just telling you this is just information of what's going on However, there are two options here. There is the yellow hot text which we can click on, as well as this drop down arrow which gives us presets. When I do the drop down arrow here, you can see we've got best settings, which is what's happened, the default setting, plus we've got all these additional options that have been set up, none of which are going to be very much help for us. But notice at the bottom we can make our own template, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a file in Adobe Render Settings template. And we're going to do that through clicking on the yellow text up here, Best Settings. So if I click on the yellow text, it opens up the Settings or the Render Settings dialog box. Now, up here, at the top left-hand corner, it's default to Best. Now, when you click a drop-down, you'll see that you've got additional settings, Draft and Wireframe. My advice is, unless you want to see a very low-quality example of a quick animation, in other words, this is something you're going to knock out very quickly, you really don't want to change it from the best settings. Draft is very poor and very hard to see. Wireframe is almost impossible. But if you want to get an, an idea of how your animation is going, say from a timing perspective, then maybe you want to click one of these other ones. It will certainly be a bit quicker, but the quality will be very, very low. But this box is the reason why I would use After Effects for certain outputs. I can go to the resolution, I can choose what size I want it to output at, and you'll notice that underneath here it says this is the present size 1920 by 1080 Full HD, but if I want to take it down to half size, which tells me what it's going to export it to, I can even take it down to a third or a quarter, so let's leave it at a third. Now I'm not going to go through all the buttons, but please look what you can do. You can use proxies, or you can decide that you're not going to use any proxies. So if you've got proxies set up, a proxy might, for instance, be a still image that is representing what will in the future be a piece of video. So you can put a still image in there that's saying at some stage this will be a video and you can render it with the proxy or you can turn off the proxies. So proxies you can turn on and off here, that will save you time. You can turn effects on and off. So for instance, I could say turn all effects off. But if I did that, I wouldn't see my plugin working and so that would be completely pointless in this particular example but you might turn around and say well do you know what for the sort of vector changes or for the sort of animations I've made I can turn them all off that'll save you a lot of time when you're exporting solo switches you can use the current settings or you can say turn them all off and again you can go through all sorts of things if you've added guide layers you can turn all the guide layers off or you can export with guide layers on if you've got them in there because you want to use that to set up another animation later on down the line. And this is really what the export from After Effects is all about. It's exporting something that you can use to help make something further on down the line, to show to your boss, to knock out something very quickly and very low quality, but enough to show people what's going on and the progress you're making. This isn't really your final output way of doing things. Your final output way of doing things should be through the media encoder. You can also see that you can turn on and off frame blending. You can even turn on and off motion blur. And also you can choose specific times to output. So at the moment I'm saying work area only, which is five seconds. But you can turn around and say, dash, I should have left it at the whole length of the composition. You can choose that here. Or alternatively, you can click the custom button and you can actually output a very specific time span inside your composition. So all of these options allow you to do much lower quality, i.e. much faster renders, which are great for setting things up 
and great for examples but aren't really the perfect solution for outputting your final version. If you want to do that you'd leave best settings and resolution at full you probably would make sure everything else was as it should be for your composition and output it from there but if you do that you are going to tie up After Effects whilst your render actually takes place whereas if you output it through the media encoder you can be working in After Effects on your next thing whilst rendering at the same time. So those are the render settings however we've set something up here we've said it's going to be a third size and say we want to use that quite a lot in the future what we can do is click OK at this point and then go back to the little drop down for templates and go to make templates and then we can actually type in here third size and then when we click OK we'll leave all the rest of it at default settings when we click OK it's called third size and next time we want to export at this level we simply bring in the composition and take the template drop down and choose third size and all of that setup that we've previously done is done for us very very quickly so it saves you an awful lot of time if you're exporting things over and over again you just set up the template and off you go in the next tutorial we'll start talking about output modules. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching.